Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon with Be The Installer here. I'm here today because I am trying to tell you my journey with regards to cutting the cord with cable. A couple years have passed since I did that and I wanna let you guys know what worked, what didn't, and how I'm doing two years later. So let's get going. So for many years I had DirecTV service and I was a slave to cable just like most people. I was very resistant myself in cutting the cord. I need all the, the sports and I need all the shows and movies and I wanna pay $300 a month for this service. But uh, as I've learned more about this, I realized that that money is a huge waste. And you guys, there's a lot of things you can do with an extra two or $3,000 in your life, I'm sure. But nobody really thinks that they can actually cut down their cable bill or it's just not really a priority until I come to their home and I'm installing TVs and we're putting in home theater systems and I start talking to people about the possibilities and the different services. And it's weird because by the time I leave, people are pretty much unanimously trying these new apps and then I never hear from them again because they love these apps and nobody uses cable again. So I'll be honest, I was a little nervous about doing this. So I actually kept my DirecTV service while I tried like a seven day trial at all of these things at once. I tried DirecTV Now, Hulu, Sling, and YouTube TV. And I liked some of them, I didn't like some of them, but I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. But I just wanna let you know, once you decide to keep one of these services, it was pretty easy just to package up all the stuff with DirecTV and get rid of it. Um, you know, they give you boxes, they send it, you know, you can send it off to UPS. So that part of it's not that complicated. People do have some reservations, but I just wanna let you know, as a guy that comes and installs this stuff, um, it's not that difficult. Really the most painful process is making that phone call to the, to the company and telling them you wanna break ties because they will try to do everything they can to keep you, but nothing really is gonna make them be able to save you $100 a month. So the first one that I tried was Sling TV. Right off the bat, I didn't like the fact that they had two different packages. So with Sling TV, I had to get the blue and the orange package in order to make sense. To get all of what I wanted, it was nearly $80 a month, and I thought that that might just be too much. Another option that I tried was Hulu TV. They also have a monthly service above and beyond the, you know, the movies and shows that you get for like the $8 package. I thought Hulu TV was pretty cool. I did like uh, some of its features. It does have the DVR service, so you can watch, you know, record things that are on the DVR. For me, the thing that I did not like was that they didn't have everything arranged in a, in a grid for the guide. So coming from cable, I felt kind of that I wanted to know what was on right now, all the different choices. And so it kind of turned me away from Hulu TV, but I think Hulu TV would be a great choice for people that um, have the other, you know, have the Hulu service already. But I didn't choose that either uh, because of the guide options and the way it was set up. So that gets me to DirecTV Now. When I had DirecTV, I thought DirecTV Now, the streaming app that they have, would be a good option for me. It's kind of confusing right off the bat because AT&T merged with DirecTV, and so that was complicated enough. The upside of DirecTV now, it was less expensive, it had, um, it had DVR service, it had a lot of good channels, but the problem with it is the DVR always failed on me, and not just on like little things. I mean, I would be watching like the Rose Bowl, and it would just fail completely. Needless to say, I don't have DirecTV now as well. And uh, I did have it for a couple months, but I don't have it any longer. So one of the other services I did try and I was very happy with was the Spectrum TV app. So Spectrum TV uh, is like a very light package uh, where you get all the local channels, you get 10 channels of your choice, and you get the music channels. That's only $29, which is pretty awesome. But it doesn't have any DVR services and once you pick your 10 channels along with those local channels, you can't change the 10 channels throughout that contract or whatever. They give you a, a two year fixed rate, I guess, for that $29. When we had got it originally, it was like $19. And then we added the movie channels on for 15 more dollars. So for that $35 we were paying per month, it was a pretty nice little package. You know, you always have to check with the prices on these things because it's not always exactly the same from month to month. The Spectrum app is good. I like it, it's compatible on Roku devices, on, you know, we can use it on the Xbox, and it's also on Samsung TVs that are newer. So I think if you're looking for a very light package, 
20 to 30 dollars a month you can deal with the locals and then you know up to 10 more channels the spectrum app is pretty good which brings me to the last one which is youtube tv so youtube tv is actually one of the best services so i tried that back in 2017 i liked it i liked the way that the grid set up i liked the way it looked like cable but as you were looking at other channels it kind of previewed the channels when you're moving forward and backwards in time, if you're recording something, it shows you little screenshots of where you are in the program or the movie, which is the best. I mean, none of the other services have that. And they've really gotten better with their DVR service. So back in 2017, it wasn't great. And I was getting a lot of like um, buffering times. Now it's worked itself out. We uh, record programs. Uh, you can just choose a team you like or a program you like and it records that team's game every time they play or it can record that, that news channel that every time that program comes up. So it, it's really good and simple and actually a lot of my clients use this and I recommend it just because of the ease of use. What it has over some of the other ones like the Spectrum app for example, YouTube TV you can use anywhere in the nation. Um, you can use it on your phone, on your Apple TV, on your you know iPad, whatever. Whereas the Spectrum app if you're outside of your um, home network you can't use all the channels on it. So I really like YouTube TV it's uh, $49 a month so it's not necessarily cheap but it's a lot cheaper than direct TV was so initially with direct TV and the internet we were paying about $220 a month so that's about $2,600 a year now we're paying just under a hundred so overall it's saving us about $1,600 a year just by researching and finding that actually I like YouTube TV better than I like the direct TV service I think it's worth it to check it out I uh, hope that you like this video. If you do like the video, uh, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment down below about what services you guys have. What have you tried? What do you like? And uh, make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we have a new video coming out. And just know, cutting the cord does not have to be scary and you can be the installer.